and then uh, if you want to know how to make um, the coasters, I'll show you that. Um, here you can see the one where I made the, I did the quarter inch on the inside, and so now they're not going to stack as nicely. Um, all right, so I'm just using my scraps here. I've got my 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 deep red here, and then um, I've I put the pell on on here. So this is the wrong side of the the backing fabric, and I'm going to put it wrong side to my top fabric. And then I'm just going to stitch all the way around, leaving a little gap here so I can turn. Same concept as the Christmas tree. And if you just wanted to practice um, before you did the trees, you could start with the coasters. Okay, so here I'm just using the purple thing again and get these corners nice and as pointy as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it does look sharper, crisper if you if you get those out. There's some nice corners there. I think that's good. watch when I'm doing this because I picked up a bad habit from my grandmother and she, when she was concentrating she used to always stick her tongue out and uh, so since I'm making a video I'm trying really hard not to do that um, but one of these days I'm sure it will happen okay so before I top stitch on here I'm gonna um, I'm gonna take a little break I'm gonna go press this and I'm going to change my thread because for these with the, the wine colored back, I want to have um, a, a red thread on top just to be more festive. Okay, so I'm back. I've changed my thread. I pressed my coaster. And um, as we sew around, we're going to do a quarter inch all the way around, make sure that we're catching uh, the fabric that we pressed under so we make it nice and strong. Um, you want to make sure that you back stitch when you start and end um, your seams here because um, you want to make sure they're locked in there. Um, as quilters, we're used to sewing off the edge of the fabric, so um, just a friendly, friendly reminder there. So just a couple stitches back, just make sure you've got it locked in there. It doesn't take very long to get all the way around, kind of eyeball the, the quarter inch there and um, lift your presser foot and turn to make a nice clean corner. I've got my sewing machine set to stop with the needle down. That really help is handy. So there you have it. A couple of uh, really simple projects you can do with any of the leftover holiday fabrics or winter fabrics. Just um, make your table a little bit more fun, um, but not necessarily so fancy. Um, doesn't take as nearly as much time as a table runner or some of the other projects out there but I thought that was fun I'd love to give credit um, to whoever came up with the idea but to be honest I I don't remember where I saw this it's been a couple years and it was like a YouTube video and uh, I just thought I would share it with you so there you go I've got uh, four of each and again, this is the Juniper collection. If you like that, you can find that on our website. If you don't have a purple thing for turning out your corners, um, we have that too. And so um, from all of us at West Valley Quilting to all of you, have a very happy um, uh, holiday season and enjoy um, decorating your holiday table.